The next step is to specify if a certain attribute can be listed as an identity. Identities are used for when they have an auto-generated number that, and this is auto-generation is done by the database management system. So once you have an auto-generated number, uh, you can specify that to be an identity for that particular table. A maximum, you can only have one identity per table. And the data types are uh, the integer data types. And just as a warning, this actually doesn't enforce uniqueness. So you can't guarantee on it to do, guarantee uniqueness based on this one thing. So if we look through our tables in user, uh, we have user ID, but notice that this is a char value. And if we look at the specificate, if we look at the scenario, it says a UI, user ID is a character and a numeric value combination. So that isn't ideal, I mean, that isn't possible for an auto incrementing value from the database system. Phone number, again, phone numbers are not auto generated and the user ID is just related to the one in the user table. Registration, again, has the user ID. Section number is an int, but here it's referring directly to the section number in section, so it's not auto-generated in the registration table. In section, uh, we have section number, and it is an int, which is a type that is allowed for identity, and this would work well for an auto-generated one to have to have the um, database management system generate that number for us because there's no particular meaning in that number. We just need to keep track of it. So we'll put identity there to specify that this one will be an identity. And we only get one per table so we don't look at anything else. Then in the course, there is a course ID that is an int and doesn't have any specific meaning. So an auto generated value would work really great there. So we'll put identity there. In prerequisite, uh, the, both of these are ints, but they're not auto-generated in this table. They'll be actually using the values that already exist in other tables. So in this particular set of database tables, we only have two identities.